All right, what we're gonna do is, this is my dump truck. Um, these valves, they either pin on, they, some of them have a pin going through them. This one screws on, the replacement one that I bought screws on. Um, let's see here. And I've been I've been needing to do this. I know you guys probably always see my dump truck in the videos, um, and it never has gone anywhere. It never has been on a job site. It never did anything. It's tagged and insured ever since I had it, and I've been needing to put this valve in for a while. But then I need like see this dash piece. Well, it falls out. I put like some plastic clip things in there, and it just. You drive down the road and it does that. It falls out. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. No, you can't see that. See, so this thing falls out. It just falls right out. Somebody broke all the clips. I got that one in there pretty decent. But, like, the clip down here is broken and I shoved a plastic thing in there. Well, I, I know of a place that has a bunch of top kicks. Um, they do, uh, they used to work on a bunch of Swans trucks and i called them and i've got i've got this piece ordered this piece ordered this piece ordered because the tabs are broke on it uh this truck doesn't have a fuse box cover underneath the hood both of them are gone i don't even know how that happens why would you take a fuse panel a fuse box cover off and not put it back on city workers i mean city mechanics i don't know it doesn't make any dang sense but what we got going on in here, I think, I hope, I'm fixing the leak. Man, all I know is it's hotter than sin. I tell you guys all the time, it's hot. It's hot. All right, here's a brake valve. Well, this one is not a factory brake valve. The symbol to Mexico. I mean, it might be factory, but it ain't a Bendix. See how it's got, uh, the fittings are kind of made into it. Well, the Bendix I bought, you can replace the fittings. Well, the fittings are leaking on this. The valve's fine. The valve, the valve works. So I bought this valve. It's an 800617 because you're sitting on the box. Um, let me pull these screws out. So this has quick disconnects on it, and these are all color-coded. So let's see if we can get it to... Yep. We sure can get it to quick disconnect fairly simply. And the spring brakes ought to be set on this because I haven't ran this truck in quite a while. I know it doesn't have no air. And I didn't fire it up first to do anything. Okay, that's color coded. So let's see I bought both sides fittings because i didn't know what size fittings and i figured it was th yep it's those well i'd say it's those let's check yeah the nice thing with the the screw in fittings is it's got a, a line stiffener well this factory went well i guess it's kind of got line stiffeners in it anyways so it'll take these fittings Yep. So we'll put these fittings in this valve real quick. Where's my new valve? And they have pipe sealer on it, but I got some recto seal. I don't know why they called this stuff that. That's like an odd name to name a product. And I mean, everybody knows why it's an odd name. probably be fine with the the thread sealant that's on it but I don't want to, have to take it apart again I want to put it together and be done I don't know if that stuff's any good it's kind of oily it's kind of odd Yeah, 
It may be because it's like a bazillion degrees outside. I don't know. Okay, well, if you look at this, this blue line, B is exhaust, supply, says supply 12, and then on the underneath side, supply 11, supply 21, deliver, or delivery 21, cool. All right, so we're just gonna, we're gonna go off the color codes and put this back together the way it can part. Yellow, red, uh -oh. which one of those is red and which of them's, oh no, that's right, that's orange there, you can see it in the, sh in the shade. I know, I say it all the time. It's hot. It is hot. Phone's about dead. The phone been ringing off the hook all day. It's about dead. People still call me. They don't care. The phone's about dead. They just call me, call me, call me. Oh, goodness. Be nice. Oh, well, let's leave this out. You know what? I don't know if this old girl's going to start up. Oh, that is awesome. I haven't started this truck, and I couldn't tell you how long. And of course, it's going to tell you that your air is low. My air is low. Get our air pressure up here. Nice. And yes, yes, it's a gas engine truck. I know, everybody's going to be like, why didn't you get a diesel? I got a smoking deal. I bought the truck and I don't remember the exact dollar amount but I bought the truck and I sold the plow and sold the spreader off of it and I've got like either 25 or 3500 bucks in this truck the way it sits I mean so I don't care if it's a gasser I drive it around town. I'm not heavy hauling. I'm not going all over everywhere doing whatever. I, I go like into town and I'm gonna haul a little bit of rock. Like the other day, I would have taken the excavator over there and done that job with this truck and the excavator and I wouldn't have to rely on somebody else. And it'll haul plenty of, plenty of mulch and stuff like that to a ditch or whatever. I mean, that's what I bought it for. All right, we're aired up. Let's listen. I don't hear any air leaks. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. I know. I know. Tell you what. You can get real excited about something going right when you have had a week like mine and everything going wrong. All right. Well, we're going to get this thing going. So we're going to have some more videos of getting the dump truck going. I'm going to pull all the central hydraulics off of this thing because I don't need them. I don't want them. It's just something else to go wrong on it with me not using it. Um, so I'm gonna, I need to cut the bed out, and I'm gonna weld a plate in for the the where the central hydraulics were. I'm cutting the hitch off the back that's on it because it's horrible, and we're gonna put a new hitch on the back. I'm gonna come up with some kind of design something to do back there, and uh, we'll get a hitch on it. So then that way, if I need to run over here 
crop duster again. Here he comes. Look at that crazy dude. They're crazy. Um, anyways, we're going to get a new hitch on this thing and we're going to get this thing up and going. If I got to put my dad in it or something a day or whatever, it ain't a big deal. He already said he'd go run it. So I'm going to try to find a screw for the dash. I'm going to get that done. I'm going to go inside and order a radio for this because the factory radio doesn't work. You know me. I like my radios, so you guys will have to be on a time lapse a couple times so I can listen to some radio on video. And we're going to get the AC going and all that. But uh, next video will probably be trying to get all this crap, the extra crap taken off of it. I pulled a lot of scab stuff off of this truck when I first got it. Um, city, The city guys added all kinds of junk to it. It was insane. Horrible wiring jobs. Um, I fixed a bunch of stuff in the front that they they repaired. Um, I fixed their repairs and stuff like that. We're going to check the antifreeze in it because it says it needs antifreeze. And I guess I need to run them by my buddies because I don't think I can pull codes on this. I don't have a, I don't have medium duty in my scanner, I don't think. I'll have to check and see, but I've got a wrench, so we'll have to see what's up. It might be on because the antifreeze light's on, but I don't think so. I think it was on before the antifreeze light. And the ABS light's on. I don't like lights on the dash. I don't care if it's, like, painted perfect and, you know, if it's wrapped in all kinds of crazy stuff, if the bed's super awesome with aluminum. I mean, I'm going to put like a lot of lights and stuff on it because I like me some lights. Um, but other than that, I don't need no craziness. Um, but I don't like I don't like lights on the dash. Stuff's got to be right. Um, no reason for the ABS light to be on when we can repair something. So, And it does have an oil leak. I'm going to have to fix an oil leak on it. So, small oil leak coming off an oil cooler. It would be super simple to fix. It's probably not going to cost a lot of money, but it's going to cost like three days to get to it because you can't get your hands on it. I don't know how I'm going to fix it yet, but uh, we're, I'm going to fix it. So, All right, guys. Look forward to some more Let's Fix Up the Dump Truck because we're not going to deal with anybody else's dump truck breaking, and I'm going to sit here and watch this crazy. He might have just crashed. I'm going to watch this crazy uh, crop duster and i'm gonna keep working on this thing in the insane heat so you guys have a good day and we'll see you later